sixth um, when she won the US Open about I think it was three years ago now, but I think we forget she's only 21 years old. In the men's side, there's big doubts about Djokovic and he'll only play if he thinks he can win it. Andy Murray is in the draw, but we're still waiting the news on his fitness also. Personally, I think the winner comes from the front two in the market. Carlos Alcaraz, who won the French Open, is the outright favourite just in front of the number one seed and Australian Open winner, Yannick Sinner. Both appear to be the dominant force, and I think it will take a big effort to get past either of them two. You're, you're nodding in agreement oh, to yeah, that, Simon. Yeah, I, would, I would pick Alcaraz to win it this year again. <laughs> If you get yourself in a situation where those two boys can test the final, you're going to have a brilliant final. Brilliant final. But yeah. I, I would pick uh, Carlos Santos. Incidentally, Dan, get that statue of Andy Murray up. That's what we need. Dan, thank you very much indeed for joining oh. us. That was a look at the latest odds. All thanks to BetMGM. Bye. Visit betmgm.co.uk or download the app. Uh, you've got to be 18 and over. Be gamble aware. Off to work. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go up, up the motorway or down there, through the town? I don't know, motorway's fine. Motorway's fine. I'll do it. Is that the Grand Burn? Yeah. She likes Anana, doesn't she? Yeah. She likes Anana. Oh, it's actually grinding up a fair bit. It's going to be a nice afternoon in this part of Germany. Uh, Simon, one thing we have done... They brighten your day up, kids, don't they, when you get cuddles off them and that? Yeah. Inevitably, when we're talking Premier League, we almost inevitably talk Manchester United. It's reported that Ineos are considering making changes to the backroom staff uh, that Ten Hag will win next season with. The positions of oh, yeah. Mitchell van der Gag said to be under threat. The Times understands that uh, Remy yep. Hackey, the head coach of Go Ahead Eagles, is in talks uh, with the club. I think <laughs> <coming> ten <coughs> I've got here, yeah, just do you know. Of joining Ten Hag's staff. I'm on meds for mine, it just How keeps us nice and calm and chill. Because there is, uh, there is much business going on there. Uh, a lesson club is going to be a lesson club. She's on the lights. Stimulants. Strong strength. No, she's on there. My boys are on concert and you can't get them for love and money. I mean, I go to every pharmacy and they just give you this prescription back, can't get it. So somewhere, somewhere along the line, something's gone wrong, hasn't it? It's like they didn't give a toss about people's mental health. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure they got diagnosed with autism. I mean, what if it was somebody who was diabetic and they needed diabetic medication and ran out with that? They just think, right, because it's mental and you cannot see it, you'll be alright. You'll be fine. You'll cope. Well, if it carries on after the election, I'm going to write whoever the MP is, and I'm going to say, right, this needs looked into, because, like I say,
foisting these appointments on Ted Mark, giving that the bomb told about that destroyed, as part oh, like, of the contract oh, negotiations, really we expect these new deals to be signed imminently. It was Ten Hag who brought Van Nistelrooy to the table as part of those discussions. Yeah, if Van Nistelrooy is heading to United, where does that leave Burnley? Tricky. Um, <laughs> they took their unusual step of appointing an it's assistant like manager before they've even appointed... Nothing's him. getting done to rectify it. There's no... The pharmacies can't even tell you when they're getting them in. They just say, we can't get it. I say, right, OK, I understand that. When can you? Don't know. Well, the doctor said that the prescription back twice is, is and he still put a concert on the 36th of the panel to get them. And I think Frank Lampard so I went to town well, in the surgery the other day and the receiver is that I'll throw you out, she says. I says, I'm not swearing that yet. I says, and I'm not. I says, but I says, I feel passionate about this. I says, it's not fair. I says, people just can't deal with life without the meds. I says, I'm on antidepressants. I says, if you stop it, mate, then. I says, you know, it's, no. I think it's very unfortunate. I says, you just don't care. Uh, I says, it's been like nearly three job. weeks since she's had them. I'm surprised that uh, a tube took him out. Um, of course, I went to the shed. She's like arguing with me all the time. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write to me local yeah. MP after election if it isn't sorted and say, yeah. right. I mean, I know when she hasn't had them there, but I'm the same one, so she argues and hell out of But I'm fortunate, I don't, I'm not on the stimulants, I'm on the other ones, the non-stimulant ones. I the one she's on with Cavs and Ood. Yeah. Just the connections where they should be. She says, Nate, it's jungle. I said, I don't care. There's an audience from Edinburgh. She's like, but that's not right. This is right. An autism gigs in big style as well. Yeah. She doesn't have the beds there. What it needs, it needs a few people to voice their opinion. Yeah. To make it heard. To say, like, right, enough is enough. ADHD and autism are very similar, eh? Yeah. Well, that's why the guy I'm two she spoke to last year, the one that the guy goes to Dr. Hill. Dr. Who? Well, there's a Dr. Who there. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he says, a lot of people get diagnosed with severe ADHD, but they forget about the autism as well. Do you know, no wonder, right, and I'm not saying this as an excuse, but no wonder people turn to fucking drink and smoke a marijuana because they feel that's the only option they've bloody got to keep them to suppress anxiety. I know alcohol makes things worse in the long run, yeah. but I, I can understand why people do it. Get in touch. Who is it you see? Who, who's causing this? Why is there a shortage? What's happening? I think it's just a 
I mean, our boys get put on like the substitute medication, they work, but they're not as good. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But the pharmacies itself, they should be pushing. But it's just their attitude's like, can't get it. It's like, I don't give a flying fuck, can't get it. Well, that's not good enough, can't get it. So why don't you get back onto the phone and find out why you can't get it? Yeah. Better get a travel watch. It's not good enough, is it? I haven't got time. The doctors shouldn't be doing prescriptions for medication you can't get hold of. That is that is the bottom line. It's like they must know they're in the medical profession. They must bloody know you can't get hold of it. Yeah, because we'll see on the records that the prescriptions were met. But by accident, it's in the service They should let you know before you go pick them up after three days. I mean, I haven't got time. To go and play a pharmacy bingo to try and find which one's got it. Yeah. Obviously, that's what they said to me. I says, I don't have time. I says, I've two bloody jobs. I says, I'm looking for my daughter in the morning. I'm hard into me. I says, I'll work back shift. I says, four days I says, I don't get any time to myself. So I says, you tell me when I'm time to do it. And other smaller nations such as Georgia. I says, I cannot do it. I mean, I was looking the way that they were going to be put on So, I mean, but you have to ask, why aren't they doing them anymore? The amount of people that need them. I didn't understand it. I mean, to me, they should tell you why. They should tell you why. And then you can say, right, fair enough. Oh, it, it boils me blue, like I say, when they just give you the prescription. Can't get it. I said, oh, when can you? Don't know. And it's like... You feel like swearing your seller. <laughs> I mean, she's in a eight mood today. She has to go to Well, she needs them. Sit back and review the tournament. I know. Well, like I say, I'm waiting till after the election because I don't think John Stevenson will be a PM, uh, but a local uh, MP for Carlisle, and then I'm going to start emailing and find out what the hell's going on. But I'm just going to pull him down here, Pet, okay? Right, 15.40, thanks, Pet. But, like, you know, as you say, I mean, me and the wife are busy. We're working, we've got kids. And I have not got time to go from pillar to post to look for, to look for pharmacies to be told constantly we haven't got it. 